Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant. We are going to continue our playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. We had a weird encounter here with what seemed to be the smith for Baldur's Gate. Apparently it was Orin in disguise, she is a doppelganger. But now I actually want to speak to him and see what he has to offer. What do you want now? I want to see your wares. And go down to the bloody shop. Oh, I've okay. Got work to do. I thought this guy would actually sell something. Is this the... Ooh. Oh. They're, they're all sucky, but... They sell, so... A shield plus one, that's good. Can they spot me here? No. <clears throat> Let's carry on. What is this? A dragonborn? Yeah, it is a dragonborn. Longsword plus one. Giltro's Meister Certificate. I want to read that. Or I, I... I can't click it for some reason. Dragon General Fire, Iron Man, Shield plus one. Or want a blade, or a bow, or a dagger. Or maybe a spear is more your thing. You look like you know how to use a spear. By spear. What'd you say? Huh? <laughs> Again, why does a dragonborn sound like that? It's so strange. Are you the one that sells the smith's weapons? Yep, that's me. Exvikia. I'd check up on your boss if I were you. He's having a bit of a rough time. Oh, uh, all right. Yes, I just got to find a way to bother him. Huh. Without actually bothering him. He doesn't like to be disturbed when he's in the zone, see? I see. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yes, please. Show me your wares. Quite a little arse licker, aren't you? No. Let's see if I can help boost your sales figures. Show me what you've got. Oh, yay! <laughs> Why is he so happy? Is it so... Ooh, is it so rare that she can sell stuff? Swire's sled board. Uh, plus 2 AC. Shield conduit. The shield shrouds the wearer with force conduit at the start of its turn in combat. Bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage against the affected entity is reduced by one per turn remaining. If the entity takes damage while it has five or more turns remaining, it deals 1d4 force damage in six meter radius. Um, I don't know. Is the damage party friendly? Because if it is, this is a cool shield. If it's not, not so much. Shield bash is cool. Okay. Bone Spike Guard, Rare Clothing, Slab Jaw Determination, you gain 15 temper- oh, Rage, it's, it's for a Barbarian. Exoskeleton Endurance, reduce all incoming damage by 2. When the wearer is struck by a melee attack, the attacker takes 2 piercing damage. Yeah, this is for... <laughs> definitely for a Barbarian. The Dancing Breeze, it is a glaive. It's a, it's a plus 2 glaive that has... Whirlwind Attack. Whirl your body around in a punishing swirl, striking all nearby foes. That's cool. It is cool. I think I like mine better, however. Because we have... Extra radiant damage, more damage overall. It's also a plus two weapon. It permanently has light. And we also have the moonlight butterflies, which I think are better. Okay. Um... Arrow of Dragon Slaying. Stalker Gloves. Plus one to initiative. Your sneak attack deals an additional 1d4 force damage. Cool. Not for any of us, but cool. Uh, these are just... Plus two armors, which are not bad. How does this compare to what she's using? 16, 16. Okay. Okay. 
Ambusher. Sentinel Weapon. Gain a plus one bonus to initiative rolls and advantage on perception ability checks. Okay. Ambusher Streak. In combat, you deal an additional 1d6 necrotic damage against creatures that haven't taken a turn yet. Okay. It's an assassin kind of weapon. <clears throat> I like these. And these are just... Plus one thing. Okay, I was expecting a little bit more. Uh, I guess I can sell some stuff. Jades. Oops. A bowl. A bundle of incense. A music box. We got a bunch of crap here. This can go... I'm selling her her own stuff. Okay. Cool. Want more? Want less? Wanna sell? Wanna buy? You know where I am. Bye! Such a weird character. What did I even pick up? I picked up arrows. Was that it? Okay, maybe it was. I forgot. <laughs> uh, I was hoping for more interesting gear, but whatever. Okay, so where am I again? Such a... Aha! This is what I wanted. Investigate the open hand temple roof. Give them a piece of your mind. It's of your so this way. Tieflings. The priests will open the temple up again. You will see. They're good people. Holy people. Are you sure about that? I'm not so sure. If they're snatching up pigeons. Novice Bramble. A word, if I may. The crying one weeps today. Our father Logan is dead. Oh. Murdered. What happened? I... I don't want to talk. My heart is in mourning. Uh... Okay. So they murdered their, their high priest? We let more outsiders in and more Baldurians die. Duke Stelmane, Father Lorcan, it's no coincidence. We have faith here, Bill. Faith in people, no matter where they're from. Who had more faith than Father Lorcan? How did that work out? I heard your priest died. My condolences. Thank you, stranger. Father Lorgan's passing has saddened us all. Passing? He was murdered by one of the fugitives he was harboring. Bill, I beg you, be quiet. Was it Orin? Even sinners receive ill mated grace, and Father Lorgan knew that. We don't pick and choose who we aid. Sounds like your god would be proud of Father Lorgan. Thank you, stranger. I take some solace knowing that he died in Ilmater's service. Does Ilmater's service involve protecting heretic absolutists? Or perhaps I missed that sermon. Enough, Bill. You seem a kind soul. Mm. Our temple is open to you. Walk well. What do you have to say, Brother Bill? I've if you're looking for a handout, try elsewhere. We're focusing on our own now. Okay, can't pick up anything here. A new blasphemy, bloodletting and sanguine arcana. Penned on official house of the broken god parchment by the reverend mistress of the house, slash bearer Katrin. Be on your guard, mind faithful, for speculation and heretical wandering has spread amongst the broken flock in recent times. If you are offered blood transference, report it to your temple's rector immediately. It shall not heal you, it shall not deliver you. To suffer truly in the name of our Lord of the Rack, your own blood must endure. Why not? What the hell? 
They're against blood transference. What is this? Valeria. Sleuth of Helm. It's a flying it's a flying elephant. Look, investigator. What? Rilgor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. What the hell? You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgore killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. Am I seeing things? Are they Shiny seeing things? Little elephant. No, they aren't. Oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of Ilmater. What the hell was that? <laughs> okay. I know how annoying planet beings can be, especially ones from Celestia. Thank you. I wouldn't normally speak so harshly, but these are rather unique circumstances. Two people just died on temple grounds. A high priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target. If you think the investigator did a shoddy job, I can look into the murder for you. Feel free to look around the temple. But fair warning. The investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. Okay. Any idea what I should be looking for? Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Anything disproving the refugee murder suicide angle, really. So the guy kills himself and the weapon disappears, and he still thinks it's a... Okay. Uh, can you tell me where to find Sheeta Clodwin? Who is, th who is this? I can tell you where to find her, but she won't be very chatty, I'm oh, afraid. Oh, the monk. She passed away last year. Oh. Peacefully, mind. We buried her in the crypt under the temple, if you wish to visit. I suppose I do. Where can I find the investigator? Charette's caress would be my best bet. That's her usual haunt after closing a case. Hmm. Okay, best get going. I really hope you find something. For all our sakes. We are inspired, trusting our instincts. Order of Ilmatari service. A mass book used by the Broken Gods congregation during regular services. There are a lot of hymns about self-flogging scattered throughout the tome. Wonderful. Solve the open hand temple murders. Gather information. We've been asked to look into the deaths of Father Lorgan and Brilgor at the Open Hand Temple. Sister Yanis, the temple's rector, believes Brilgor's been blamed for the crime too hastily by Investigator Valeria. And help the cursed monk. We learn that Shara Clorwin passed away. She's buried in the crypt under the temple. Alrighty. Ilmatari Combat Manual. What? Many would ask how the Open Hand Temple should respond to acts of violence against our persons. Well, it is a most sticky conundrum. We must rely on the gifts granted to us by our suffering God, that of curative miracles. As long as you can solve yourself, your fellow congregants, or even the wayward minds of your vicious assailants, that must be your approach, for we are not to inflict suffering only to alleviate it. Besides, there are always nearby flaming fists to handle that sort of deceitful thing. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Infirmary. Justice endures, even in suffering. Okay, will we find the Father Lorgan over here? Yes, we will. Sister Rose the Penitent. What ails you? Marsh fever? Feather lung? Be quick, I've not got all day. <laughs> I'm looking to Logan's uh, death. I need to ask you some questions. What do you want to know? Who do you think killed Father Logan? I reckon Investigator Valeria is right. One of the refugees killed him. Cruelly, too. They cut off his hand, sawed right through the bone. I found uh... a paralytic poison on one of his wounds. 
Logan was alive while they took the hand. He just couldn't scream. It's sick. <laughs> that we it give is. Them everything. And all we get is nothing but a good man to bury. Okay. Do you mind if I speak with him? Actually, there were more questions, right? Please, leave me. God damn it, bitch. Uh, okay, so. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Okay, so who killed you? Dwarf, dressed in red. A dwarf dressed in red. Where were you attacked? Tunnels from the cellar. Refuge. Okay, two questions. Why did he kill you? The corpse remains silent. Okay, he doesn't know. It does not know. How did you die? A poison blade. Paralysis, we knew Paralysis. it. And what were you doing when you died? Hiding Brilgor from fists. The spell's power wanes. You can okay, so Brilgor doesn't seem to be responsible for this. There is a dwarf dressed in red. Please, leave me be. She has no other dialogue. Oh, he has loot. Chest key and gold. What about the other guy, Brilgor? Where is he? Brilgor is not here. Or is he over there? Okay, there's a way up, probably for the roof. Kitchen. Visitors kindly keep to common areas. Food will be served at meal times. Okay, what is this? A bonfire below. Brother Donic. Everything soup? <laughs> it's a soup made of everything? Okay. Okay, this takes us into the lower area. Okay, so what do you say? I've said all I have to say already. Now I just want to pack up my kitchen and leave. I actually didn't see a massive blood trail. I'm investing Lorgan's murder, what do you know? I know it's not fair. This was the best job I ever had. Lorgan was kinder than most. And now they're blaming a refugee for his death. Typical. I think if I start with I spoke with the corpse, I might freak him out. I heard about some secret tunnels where the attack took place. Know anything about that? He was attacked in the cellar. He had a private altar down there. Used to like the solitude. <laughs> the man ate like a horse. A soup-hungry horse. Usually took enough to feed a small clergy down there. Because he was hiding people there? Look, I need to finish up here. Oh, okay, blood Lots too. of soup to clean up. Blood too. Why blood? There are secret tunnels in the cellar, or how do I open them? Not a clue. Ah. Rivington's riddled with old smugglers' tunnels and the like. I wouldn't go poking around in them if I were you. Okay, so there were so many other questions I would like to ask him. An ornate wooden hatch. This takes me where? This takes me back over here. Okay. I want to check out these lower chambers.
Is there even anyone here? No, there isn't. I don't have the key. Maybe this is his? No, it isn't. Oh, this is new. Eh, sure. Thirteen. Gold. Is this his? It is. Only has gold and incense, which is kind of pointless. What? Wait, of course. Oh. A false Confessions, Volume One, Father Lorgan. Okay, this just got interesting. The most recent entry in this journal bears particularly heavy quill marks and crossed through revisions. I penned this from the temple cellar, the only place I feel close to the ill matter at will anymore. I pass my gaze between the crests that hide my sin apparent, and I wonder, who are they to pass any judgement? They bark that those who arrive on our doorstep, bloodied, beaten, fleeing from heretical hordes, are dirty, unwelcome to be shunned. That it, that it is a crime to house them, to bring them into the city proper, but if my back must be broken so others may step to the light, so be it. Okay. So what, somebody was not really liking the fact that he was bringing people in? So the corpse of Father Lorgan mentioned that he and Brilgor were murdered in the hidden tunnel beneath the open hand temple. We can access it through a temple crypt. Good. Brother Donick told us that Father Lorgan's corpse was found in the crypt underneath the temple kitchens. We could find, we could look there if we find my information. We learned that Father Lorgan uses the temple crypt to hide imperiled refugees. We should examine the crypt to learn more. Okay. Staying out of sight. A minor hindrance. Oh come on, man! I should have picked up the bonus. I forgot. I actually like the other dice better. Why are you getting spotted, Shadowheart? Oh, because he's casting Guidance. Okay, that's right. Let's go for the Scuff Metal look. Ooh. Seraphic Pugilistic Gloves. Oh, your, your unarmed attacks will initial 1d4 radiant damage. Yeah, okay. More monk stuff. There, there is so much monk stuff. Okay, I'm not gonna read all of this. Jesus, it's too much. Oh, I will take that. Okay, I think I will actually want this one. Because it's relevant for Will. Very nice. Meditations Volume 1, Father Lorgan. This record penned by Rector Yanis consolidates various sermons of Father Lorgan, High Priest of the Open Hand Temple. Do not, brethren, mistake the wonders of gathered society for the decrees of those atop it. It is the duty of a faithful tormented, it is your duty, to know when these decrees beget unjust suffering. It is not an easy duty, it is a duty that will scar your hands from carrying it, as it well should. We must at all times recall a central fact. To suffer is not holy. To suffer is a consequence of holy duty made practice. Ill matter does not enjoy his pain, my friends. He endures it because it is just. Our own pain is an acceptable price to pay, but it is not good in itself. Some may ask of you, if you are loved by your God, why does he allow you to suffer? Why does he allow anyone to suffer? The question is strong rhetoric, and uh, but it has an answer. One cannot be healed without first being hurt. One cannot truly know joy without knowing its absence. But to live a life full of absence, full of suffering, would be to know only one thing. We enact balance in the name of the Lord of the Rack, for it is right and it is just. Okay.
Uh -huh. Register of Temple Dead Speakers. Easy Furniture's DIY? The False Bottom Chest. Okay. That's, that's cool. A death will often cause or in turn be caused by an imbalance of suffering. On such occasions, a priest must commune with the spirit to see if they can address that imbalance. Please list your trained temple dead speakers below. Lashbear Catherine, left temple, sister Clarwin deceased and father Lorgan deceased. So this Catherine can speak with the dead. At the bottom of the page there is a handwritten annotation. Apply for dead speaker training at earliest opportunity. Can't have none at the next temple inspection. Why? Okay. A hero at all. And what about the book you just picked up? Infernal Contracts and Bargains. This book presents a guide on which devils to bargain with for what? Strange. One must choose which devil they deal with using utmost vigilance. Remember, devils are not only fiends, they're bastards. I once knew a man who asked for ultimate protection against his enemies from a devil of this pattern. He was transported into an impregnable iron fortress deep underground. One without doors. So pick and choose with caution, friends. Uh, for matters of money, creatures of minotaurs can best solve your woes. For matters of pleasure or pain, face the fiery folk of Phlegetos. This tome continues in much the same manner. Okay. Uh, so, <clears throat> a crypt. Somewhere. Two steps at a time. I guess. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, no. Silence is gone. Two steps at a time. Let's we see. are going to investigate this cellar door over here. There's a blood trail. I feel like I want... Well, first of all, get your shield back. But I feel like I want... Um, guidance on Shadowheart. See if she can perceive something over here. Let's try this way. No. Action, not reaction. Defender of the people. Lazel was upset with me because I saved the doggies. So many containers, why? A wicker basket. Ever onward. Okay. Trail of blood leading this way. That much is obvious. Wait, there's a towel pile. Okay. They're not covering anything. Easy enough. So he was praying at the altar and he got stabbed in the back, I imagine, by a dwarf dressed in red. On the Weary, Volume 1, Father Lorgan. A collection of Father Lorgan's writings on despondency. Perhaps the hardest suffering to ail is that which dulls but does not pang. Weariness sits deep within one's soul but it casts its mighty net across the surface, dampening all errant thoughts and feelings in its wake. Malaise of this sort can rot the heart, if left to fester, but must be ext extricated carefully. Above all else, the weary soul knows itself better than you can. Do not condescend, do not assume, do not impose. Simply avail yourself as a tool to the weary. Let them know you can be used however they might need. Okay, give me just one second, please. And I am back. I had to go help Cordon Pina. Uh, so we read that, now we have the rites for the passing. A book of Ilmatari death rites. This page on the turning is particularly dog-eared. 
There will come many a time, O worshipful tormented, that you will have to comf comfort a faithless unfortunate as they pass from this life to the next. Or perhaps even more distastefully, you may be faced with the dying acolyte of a wretched god, keen to shirk the blasted afterlife awaiting them. The Lord of the Rack, it's actually on the Rack, grants us a great many powers, but altering the moral velocity of a soul is one we cannot shift on the deathbed. If one has lived a life of sin, their soul is bound to, for a sinful place, no matter their final protestations. However, it would do much more harm than good to tell them this. Ill matter does not forbid the speaking of untruth, no matter how polite society deems the act. If it would spare the dying wretch some suffering as they pass, tell them that the weeping god awaits them with his balming embrace. Make them believe. Whatever torment their soul bears in the realms beyond, it remembers not their body, so spare them at least this final passing moment from hardship. Okay. So, why is this... This looks like a secret door, right? That much is <clears throat> kind of obvious. Oh, I had put myself in turn-based mode to pause the game while I was helping. Um, more grass, water. There has got to be some way to open up that thing, that door. Plea of rest. And hastily, and hastily, a hastily. And I think it's A. A hastily. Scrawled in slightly damp plea of rest, requesting to be freed of Illmatter's service for the duration of a 10 day as the writer mourns Father Lorgan. Okay. So, how do we open that thing? Probably through here? Oh, 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 oh. Wait. Looks like a trap. Yes. A display case disarmed. Twenty. Ugh. I'm just gonna take the damage. Okay, it, that, that's just a guiding bolt. A simple task. A simple task. I was actually wondering who said that a simple task, but it's actually one of the custom voices for um, for the main character in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> a simple task. That's it. What a waste. That's good. That's good. Miracles of the Outer City. The pride of the gate. A record of alleged miraculous phenomena in the outskirts of Baldur's Gate attributed to Ilmatter. Customer of Gildro Algiron reckons he healed up mighty quake from painful forge burn. Asked if Ilmatter had something to do with the irksome talkative gent outside Carmen's powerful agent of suffering. Soup still showing up at refugee camp even after the temple closed kitchen. Curious. Man's hands tied together in horse reins. Claims he's a holy symbol. And Manipnesa reports feeling close to his study since relocating to refugee camp. That's just silly. Okay, there's gotta be something that I'm missing. Control of Dominate, ooh, Arcane Lock, Holy Water, the would-be Saint, I don't think I really care about this, and Teachings, hmm, what am I missing, I don't know. The Pride of the Gate. Okay, let me see my log. We learned that Father Lorgan used the temple crypt to hide in peril refugees, which is the crypt no more. I mean, come on, it's super obvious. It's it's very much extremely spoiled already that this has something behind it. Again, this shouldn't happen. This is this is just dumb. 
the game shouldn't allow you to see. Um, in some in some areas they they made this properly. You couldn't see behind, but in other areas like this one, it's just very poor. How do I open this? Do I have to light all the candles or something? Oh, oh, I'm blind. I hadn't seen this door. A crypt. And ah. Sheriff Clarwin's resting place, I reckon. Oh, it's also relevant for the monk. <clears throat> this one is shining. Here lies Satida Atana. Born 1411 DR. Okay. Died 1485 DR. Oh, there's something over... Huh? There's a coffin underneath. Here lies Flintster Sunseeker. Born 1400 DR. Died 1456, dear. I'm gonna quick save in case there's some kind of puzzle that I don't want to mess up. But it doesn't look like it. Oh, okay. You can just... Okay. Here lies sister Shira Clarwin. Date of birth unknown. Died 1491 DR. This is the one we need, right? Let's uncover that tomb and reunite the spirit with it. Monk's manifestation. Oh! Darling Shira, faithful to the crying god. What? Long didst I wait, only to find thine empty flesh. What did I do? Gone thou might be, alas, what? Oh, 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 honored Shira, her spirit has fled, and her body but merely a husk. <laughs> what the hell? Swear I did to shed this foul mania and bestow it upon Shira. She was to endure, to suffer, as was her god Ilmata's want. Who now shall bear the madness Shah has wrought on me, so I might no longer suffer? Oh, 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 oh. Shall it be thou? No. Continue. Oh, what your I did? Muscles tingle and your mouth twitch. And she disapproves. The what the hell? Madness spreads through you. Madness tugs at your mind, prods in places best left untouched. You feel your wisdom begin to drain. What? First of all, why does Lazel disapprove? I didn't make any choice, woman. God damn it. Wisdom, constitution, accept the inevitable. No. Constitution is my best chance, right? Steal yourself and guide the sensations elsewhere. Fifteen. Well, I have four inspiration rolls. Awesome. You remain wise as ever, even as Shah's madness spreads outward. You giggle, struck by the absurdity of the moment. A spirit hiding inside an amulet has brought you to the body of his granddaughter and possessed it. Outrageous. Ridiculous. Once again, you feel your wisdom draining away. Hilarious. What is it? Okay, so same thing. Hold firm. You will make this curse a gift. You will not surrender your wisdom. On. Inspiration. That's why we have you. Roll high. Ah, bitch. Come on, man. Oh my god, dude. Please. Please. Jesus, okay. The urge to laugh dwindles. Though you can't help but chuckle. You withstood the monk's madness. Oh. And earned Tasha's hideous laughter. That's cool. 
Can I kill him? My friend, forgive me, for this mind was not mine own. May love to be thy gift, never thy curse, the morning lord calls. Canst thou feel the warmth of his blessing? This is not my final twilight, but a new dawn. Farewell. The corpse is an empty husk once more. The monk, liberated from madness, is finally at peace. Okay. The suffering's <laughs> at an end. Truth be told, I'll miss that mad bastard. Okay. We got Tasha's hideous laughter without spending a spell slot. That's actually good. I I think I may have missed something <clears throat> over the course of this quest. Since we, we had that option only to say continue and Lazel disapproved. I don't know. This guy has nothing. Hmm. Who was he? Here lies Reloric Windbane, okay. born 1399 DR, died 1486 DR. Okay, goddammit, what is... Th how do I get through that weird door? We examined the crypt. Am I missing something? Here lies Reloric Windbane, born 1399 DR, died 1486 DR. Wait, no, this is still the same. There is a pickaxe here. Oh, oh, come on, I'm so stupid, man. That's just a way up. Can I break through this? No. Uh, Lazel. Flackets will be done. Really? You can't jump this. Come on. Quickly then. Okay, so maybe this is not the way. I'm really wondering if I'm missing something or if I'm actually supposed to go through there. What in the god damn wait? Open up. Wait. <clears throat> I think we found it. Yeah, I think we found the way. I'm guessing that door opens from the other side only. The pride of the gate, ever onward. Now we gained experience. Somebody over there. This better be good. <clears throat> Is this like a smuggler's cove or something? Kiwi! A smuggler's cove or something. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> wait, 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 wait. Are they just enemies or... Okay, I think they're just enemies straight up. But they're named. I wanted to talk to them. Well, I guess there's not going to be any talking to be had. <clears throat> Long rest. I'm going to knock you down, bitch. Excuse me, what? I have disadvantage because of... Tactician difficulty. <laughs> really, mind reader. He's a doppelganger. Monstrosity. 
Range attacks have disadvantage against this creature. Multi attack, morphic ambush. Can multi attack if the target's ambushed? Okay, it's a good thing we weren't. <clears throat> I'm gonna knock him down. Do I want to curse him first or hex him? Yeah, sure. You're gonna regret attacking me, bitch. <laughs> Down. This makes me happy. Coated in crawler mucus. I imagine that can paralyze someone. So we have to be careful. And you have a short sword and you are dashing. But he has heavy armor. I love his armor. It looks very cool. Okay. Do I even bother with these people? Not really, right? <laughs> Again with the disadvantage. Sure. Yeah, nightshade poison. More another eight points of damage. Very good. Time to strike. Okay, let's mess these people up. I have range for it. Taking position. Okay. Just normal attacks, I think. Good job. They kind of look more like zombies than doppelgangers, but they do look cool. I wish I could strike him. Roll in my favor. Let's cut your movement short. Nemesis. Nemesis. Good job. Let's hex this guy and toss him back. <laughs> Hells, I wasn't ready for that. Well, apparently we were. Because they were not even a challenge. Okay. And okay. So what? Is it safe to assume that all doppelgangers are gonna have um, are going to have uh, disadvantage on range attacks against them? When did I pick this up? Sun graced warmth radiates from both the pins and its chain. Somehow, even a brief glance of it brings a smile to your face. Oh, it's the one from the monk. <clears throat> okay. It's just for selling, I think. Field report Dead Stalker Zoom. Aspirant Dolor is talented, if a touch careless. The dagger he discarded lurks within this cave somewhere, though I know not where. I can smell it. The fear musk from his kill stands in the air after the act because he lets them marinate first. They stand, lie, sit, stalk. What? They stand, lie, sit, stalk still as the poison fills their limbs and with lead, knowing only two perfect facts. You are, they are going to die, and there is nothing they can do about it. Okay. This guy wants to speak. He has key with the flower motive. Flower key, a 10, is scratched on the petals. And the scroll of Thunder Wave. Okay. Blue Connor Balsa. A bunch of dead people. Clown Severed Torso. Why is this an orange item? Ilacera, the first. <laughs> one of the... Um, one of the five ball spawn. The effigy of Ilacera, who watched and waited. What use her eyes? She thought herself a huntress, but couldn't fathom her wool. Below is an exaggerated signature written in blood, or in the red. Strange. Does she keep people here to, to transform into them? Maybe? Okay. 
So we want to speak with the dead. regards you lifelessly did you kill father Lorgan no Dolor did splendid kill hmm. who is the lore our blood red dwarf tricky What is he now? The corpse remains silent. Doesn't know. It does not know. Is the Lord... Actually, I'm going to ask for this one first. I found this flowery key. What is it for? Flophouse. Dolor's secrets. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm guessing Orin. But let's check. Who do you work for? Oui. Oui. The corpse tries to speak, but something prevents it. Interesting. The spell's power away. Okay. Uh, I guess I can't ask anything else from the others. But I'll just check. The corpse does not respond. Let's see this done. Doesn't look like it. The corpse right. Yeah, okay. So if they are not glowing, then that means that you cannot speak with them. Alrighty, so what did we learn? Find and gain access to the Temple of Ball. We found the cruel and deliberately staged murder scene in Baldur's Gate. It could be the work of Orin. How does this tell me that there is a Temple of Ball? <laughs> and where is the other quest? Okay, this one. We learn from... Oh! One of the doppelganger assassins underneath the Open Hand Temple had a strange flowery key. We should find what it opens. Investigate Frego's flop house and find the use for the flower key. We learn from a dead doppelganger assassin that the flowery key we found unlocks something in the flop house. Something that will reveal the Lord's secrets. I don't know what this flop house is. We shall have to find out. This is the other way to get in here. Ah, there we go. The lever that opens the way. Wait, what was that? Oh, right. So now we have the shortcut open. What else do we have here? A way down and a way up. I want to see where this leads. Just a peek. It's not that hard to climb that thing, man. It's <laughs> chill. Okay, more dead people. <clears throat> These must be the people Father Logan was helping. Priest is of little use to them now, apart from a prayer for the dead. Dear Mrs. Priest, this letter is written in the careful but erratic hand of a newly learned writer. Mom says I need to say thank you more, so thank you. Thank you for telling off that nasty woman who was shouting all those nasty things at me. That's three times I've wrote thank you now. Four. So I think mom will be happy. One more thing. Did you see my teddy anywhere? I think I dropped it during all the shouting. Okay. Request for alms. Just do something here quickly. Uh, 
request for alms. Please, Father Lorgan, Rector Yanis, if you're any food to spare, our stomachs yowl at night like kicked dogs. Carrots, apples, we'll even crunch an onion if that's what you've got. Yours, Tuldra Tuldrin. Yeah. I mean, they had gold, they could purchase food. Pale mint. Nice. Yeah, man, you had so much gold and gold and jewelry. Just purchase food. Okay, nothing over here. And why is there a mark of the absolute on the floor? That's the curious part. Oh, right, I have to send to camp my food. That's what I meant to do. <clears throat> We're halfway to 11, but it does require a lot of experience, Jesus. 10,000 more containers. So, so I came from there, let's go over there. Nothing here, really. It's just a cave where he was hiding refugees. Okay. And if we go this way... Cloud kill. Really? That's interesting. I have something to deal with this, I believe. Let me quick save. Seek and you shall find because I think I taught Gale... Gust of wind. Summon a strong wind that clears all clouds and pushes creatures back five meters. Yep. Let's take this off. I was kind of disappointed with Cone of Cold. I never really expected it to be a good spell, but not such a bad spell also. Now, guys, come on. We'll remove clouds. It was a lie. It did not remove any cloud whatsoever. Wonderful. Lazel, you are gonna go suffer for a bit. Without delay. Perception failed. Why? Okay, now I'm curious. Her perception failed to find something. Okay, what about you, Shadowheart? Can you perceive it? Let's give her advantage on perception checks and send her into the poison. Ah, okay. Essentially just traps. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, 6 HP is better than losing more with the poison. There is something over here, okay. So just do this. It's fine. <clears throat> a hero at heart. We're gonna go back. Heading out. Through a safer route. Which we can do by just going through here. Okay, so a bunch of doppelgangers killing people. There's apparently a temple of ball somewhere. Something over there. Oh damn. Steelmaker. It's a plus two dagger that has the enchantment spell hold person attached. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh let's go down. There is something over there. Where am I needed? Short rest. <clears throat> A cave mouth. Just a peek. Well, my friends, I believe there is no better time than right now 
to finish up this episode, we explored all of this area. There is something over here that can be seen on the minimap. And I'm curious for it. I wonder if it's like a temple of ball. We'll have to see. Uh, as always, my friends, thank you so much for being here with me in the channel, watching some Baldur's Gate 3. I hope you are enjoying it. If you have any questions or suggestions, you know what to do, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing. Many more videos coming out soon. And it's also a free and easy way to support the channel. I hope to see you all in the next episode, and until then, stay safe everyone.